What's up guys, Retro Django here. In today's video, we're gonna enjoy my Commodore 128D. I love the donation. What we're going to do in today's video is something that I didn't know about when I started farting around with Commodore 64 and Amiga retro PCs, all stuff like that. I didn't have a flock drive back then, it was just too expensive. All of my friends, we just had cassette tapes. So floppies are new for me, okay? <laughs> How do I delete stuff? How do I format so the floppy is all clean? How do I copy one floppy drive to another one? How do I take back up of these games? Well, the first part, is right here. This is the commando for format. You put in a disk and you write open 1815 and the disk name dash 1a blah blah blah. And when you turn the disk around, you take the 1a and write 1b instead. So here is the command. Let's go ahead, start by formatting a disk and then taking a backup of this beautiful shoot 'em up game that's called Armalite. Yes! You put your disc in and you write all this command and you press enter and it starts to format the disc. You can hear it. And it will take some time. It's a Commodore 64. So open 1815 name Retro Django. You can write blah blah back up whatever. And 1A close. You, you open one and you close one. And you just let it go until the drive stops formatting. So that's the first part. Let's check out how to copy this beauty. Nice! So, directory, the disk is called Retro Django 664 blocks free on this disk. Beautiful stuff! Now, what we're going to do, I know everybody has got their own way to copy, but we're going to load this fast Hackem 3. So, we'll put it in the drive on the Commodore 128. We press F8 and it will start loading and loading and loading and loading and press run stop. F1, F3, F7, yes, load disk. And it will load something called Fast Hackem version 3. And it's by Mike J. Henry. Oh, can you see the 3A? There we go. If you want to go in and download this, you can take your 1541 or you can choose your Commodore 128 in 128 mode. I will choose the 1541. I will press A and it will get this beautiful menu that Mike J. Henry made back in 1985 in his basement. Nice! Uh, two drive or single drive. Two drive could be cool and I can connect another drive to this Commodore 128D. But let's just think that you are in, at your mom's basement and you have your Commodore 64 with the 1541 single drive. Then you can press on A and choose this copy A and it will load and it will say do you want to read the directory so you can see what the disk contains or do you want to copy the disk? I want to say copy the disk. Press C. There we go. Insert source disk. And you know what? This side, side A is Armalite Plus. So I will just turn out on over the drive and press uh, the disc and you will get epileptic attack. So I will just quit this and bam. So <laughs> I have to protect you guys. So it loads few kilobytes in and it wants the destination disc. Then I put that one in. As soon as I press here, then it will blink again, so I will be back. You, you actually have to do this. 
three times, I think. Um, no, no, it will blink. <laughs> Don't look up there, okay? So you, because of these computers, they had few kilobytes of RAM available. So you will change between the uh, source disk and the destination disk a couple of times. And I, as I can see here, <laughs> I love this man. As you can see, copy, complete, remove disk. So this should have armor light in it now. That's so cool. I mean, yeah. On the Commodore 128, you have got a reset button. You don't have to turn it off and on. So we will take the armor light disc now. I mean, how cool is this that you just slide it in at the front? I love it, man. The 128. There we go. And we'll press it here, here, and it will load, uh, stop, and then we will go up. That's how you take your backups, guys. Isn't it cool? So go in and. Uh, get this beautiful program that's called fast hacking version 3 by mike was it <laughs> i hope you enjoyed this this one guys i uh, man it's just 40 years later i'm still having fun with these old floppy drives i think they're awesome i love stuff like this so as you can see works as it should so now you know how to format and how to copy. They are just, I mean, if we go these, all these discs through, I mean, look, there are so many, so many copy programs, backup programs, Uridium, Ghost, uh, R-Type, oh, I'm going to play R-Type, utility discs. They're just so American Civil War, Double Dragon. And so much to choose from. I have got boxes and boxes of these amazing, amazing floppy disks. I love them. No, they're not for sale. No, nothing. I'm just going to enjoy them. When I get very, very old, I'm going to go them all through. And the games that I like, just like, you know, R-Type, I'm going to take a bag of, of it. I know we have all these uh, 1541 Ultimates and stuff like that. But for a guy like me that didn't experience the floppy drive back then in the 80s and the 90s, it's very cool to just play around with it now. Whoa, what is all that, man? I don't know what I picked. I hope it's cool. <laughs> So, did you learn something today? Also, I want to know how do you copy disks? What program do you use or do you use a command? What do you do? I mean, we learn every day. So, if you have a, a neat trick, write about it on the comments down below so everybody else can learn about it. Whoa! Oh, nice. <gasps> oh, nice. Why don't we have music in the background, man? Somebody in the community, go ahead and edit Armor Light and make awesome soundtrack in the background. That could be cool. Whoa, what a nice game, man. What a nice game. Oh, no. Have a great day out there. Bye.